My name is Carrie Lynn Miller and I'm with the Mike Brown Group at Silver Creek Realty. When people think of Idaho and living in Idaho, they think of the services available, the incredible white water, the recreation, the, the foothills, the trails the, that are right outside our back door, the vibrant downtown, the community, the culture, the museums, the things that happen in our community. What I think is really important and what people get here and realize is the impact that this community has based on the people that live here and the people that give back to this community to make it a stronger community to live and they fall in love with it. My experience with the Idaho Youth Ranch I think is a lot like a lot of Idahoans in the sense that I go through my closets, I purge my items, I make deliveries to the thrift store, but until recently when Scott came into the um, our Boise Sunrise Rotary Club, the CEO of Idaho Youth Ranch, and spoke about the amazing programs that they offer this community and that feed into this community. Um, it's then I realized I wanted to be more involved. Uh, my name is Scott Curtis and I'm uh, proud to be the CEO of Idaho Youth Ranch. Idaho Youth Ranch has been committed to serving the most marginalized youth of Idaho. It takes a lot of forms, but our biggest focus is serving the needs of youth that have experienced trauma in, in one way or another. Childhood trauma in Idaho looks similar to trauma across the nation in terms of what we call adverse childhood experiences, or things that can be a part of a child's life that end up having long-term impacts. So they can be things such as being, being abused, witnessing abuse, um, living in poverty, um, having an incarcerated relative, having substance abuse or mental illness in the household. And all of those things have been shown to have negative outcomes, uh, behavioral and mental health out outcomes for young people, and we have to treat those. The Idaho Youth Branch has been serving the youth of Idaho since 1953, and that's taken various iterations, and our programs are uh, pretty broad. Um, first of all, we offer residential care. We offer short-term residential care for youth in crisis which includes homeless and runaway youth, youth whose uh, housing situation is unstable or their families are in crisis. And we offer that in Boise uh, in one facility called Hayes House. We also offer an adoptions program. We offer youth development, job development for young people ages 16 and above, where we teach them job skills, interviewing skills, resume building, and then provide internships in our stores for them. We also offer outpatient counseling to youth and their families. We have two outpatient counseling centers. Uh, one's located in Boise and the other's located in Coeur d'Alene in North Idaho. And uh, finally, we have two equine centers uh, where we offer equine therapy, which is part of our outpatient counseling. It's uh, sort of a signature modality that we use for working with youth in trauma. Equine therapy uh, is really using an incredible animal almost as another therapist in the ring with a young person or as a mirror to the young person's emotions. So. Um, in equine therapy, we have a trained clinician. We also have a horse. We have a client, and then we'll have an, an additional assistant working with them. And the horses don't have a saddle on. They're just an additional person, if you will, in the ring with the young person. It's amazing what happens with an animal that is sensitive and can mirror the emotions of what they're hearing. And what the young people in particular pick up on, or the horse's behavior, often becomes the metaphor that the trained clinician can use to break through with the young person to help them. And it's particularly effective with young people that have experienced trauma and aren't necessarily responding to traditional counseling. We get new equine success stories every week. Talked to a counselor this morning and she had her first session with a mother and daughter uh, last week. And these two uh, were not communicating well. She said the mother was so negative to the daughter and, um, and they were struggling in their interactions. And uh, she said she got them into the arena with the horses and they started to talk differently and eventually the therapist just backed out of the way and before the end of the session the mom and the daughter were standing face to face tears rolling down their faces and talking for the first time in really months and addressing the issues that they've got going on i can't explain why that happens because of the presence of a horse but it has that sort of powerful interaction idaho is strengthened by the idaho youth ranch first of all for fulfilling our responsibility to Idaho's kids, right? These are not other people's children. These are our children, right? And so the Youth Ranch is committed to uniting together with others to meet the needs of Idaho's kids. So in terms of support from the community, we ask people to, to help us in a number of ways, whether it's through donating goods, volunteering, providing financial contributions, um, or just spreading the word about the Youth Ranch to others and making sure those families, particularly those families and kids that have experienced trauma, know where they can go to get support.
If someone needs assistance, the first thing I would say is make sure you get it. Don't underestimate the importance of getting the services that a young person needs, particularly a young person that has experienced trauma. Research is pretty clear. We need to deal with these issues now or we will be dealing with them later and the outcomes will be, will be significant. If someone needs assistance from Idaho Youth Ranch, please go to youthranch.org and see our services and reach out to us. I love Idaho Youth Ranch uh, in particular uh, because it is meeting the needs of those young people um, that seem to have fallen through the safety nets. And it's the community and the organization saying, no, we're going to catch you and we're gonna be with you uh, and help you through this. And otherwise, I don't know who would do it.